We spend so much time here on Ag PhD talking to you about how you can raise better crops. I think it's also very important to focus on doing the right things for the environment. So Darren, let's talk a little about riparian areas or basically buffer strips around waterways, and rivers, lakes, things like that. Well, we've got a great example right here in this field, Brian. We've got a hilly piece of ground that has rolling hills and then all the water moves down to these waterways. We've actually got a stock dam here. We've got some trees there. We've got some tall perennial grasses, all trying to help preserve our land and keep water clean that's leaving our field. So let's just say there was a little bit of soil that washed off the hillside and a big rain. Now it's got to filter through some tall perennial grasses yeah. and we can sort out all the things like soil that may have gotten in there or crop residues or maybe maybe some fertilizer that may have just been spread on the ground, these kind of things. Yeah, so one of the things I get frustrated with is, so I do a little bit of kayaking, not, you know, anything major or white water or any of that kind of stuff, but just up and down a river that's near our house. Well, really not up the river, but down the river at least <laughs> I do this. And anyway, it just frustrates me because I see some nice riparian areas, buffer strips, and then I also see some people that farm right up to the edge. And then every year when the river gets a little high, it takes more of their ground out and I see stuff washing right out of their field, right into the river. That's frustrating because I also, as I drive around our area, see plenty of acres of CRP ground where the ground, quite honestly, could be farmed real easily. Why don't we take some of those CRP acres that are in good farmable areas and put those CRP acres right along the rivers? I don't understand why we don't do that, Darren. It just makes sense. That's probably the big reason why it doesn't happen because it makes too much sense. Now, when we think about it, what we're trying to do is, again, just protect the environment a little bit. And when you think about those areas that are maybe right next to a stream or right next to a river, they're probably not your most productive acres anyway. A lot of times you end up with some early flooding early on in the year or when you have some big rains you may have a washout in those areas or something like that. Why not preserve that land for the long period of time? So we aren't talking about taking up 10% of your farm ground or something like that but maybe just a few strips right along rivers or streams or wherever your runoff from your field may end up. So a lot of times what we're talking about here is 60 feet within 60 feet of a river that's right next to you or a hundred feet, something like that. And especially having some perennial grasses rather than annual grasses, then having some shrubs and then some trees. And the reason why you wanna have all these different types of plants there is when you have runoff that's coming off your field, you need something to hold that soil in place, number one. Number two, you need to absorb some of the water and some of the different herbicides or whatever that might be coming in through there. So you've got to have a lot of plant material and it's got to be growing most of the year and from year to year. Now all of a sudden our rivers and streams are that much cleaner and there's a lot less chance there's going to be some more regulation put on us in the future. Well whether we have regulations on this or not, we're probably always going to be dealing with our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 